of the 0-1. Swing and a high fly ball, well hit to left field. It may go. Gordon back. There it goes. Home run. David Wright has hit his first World Series home run. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com Fastcast. After being beaten twice in Kansas City and facing a possible 3-0 series hole if they suffered another loss Friday night, the New York Mets rose to the challenge. After Mets captain David Wright erased an early deficit with a two-run shot, Curtis Granerson duplicated the feat with a two-run homer of his own to give the Amazons a lead they would not relinquish. New York extended their lead thanks to hits from Michael Conforto, Juan Uribe, and David Wright yet again. Noah Syndergaard made sure that lead held up, pitching six solid innings while striking out six to deliver a huge 9-3 win to close the gap in the World Series to two games to one in favor of the Royals. Game three of the World Series resumed Saturday night with Chris Young on the mound for Kansas City and Steven Matz taking the hill for the Mets. You know, to be able to fight back the way that we did, uh, you know, we were re- relentless tonight and it seemed like every time they had an answer you know we had an answer right back and I think that's the type of baseball um, that got us here I, I just thought it was a, a real big game for us that's when we set up the rotation the way Noah had been pitching you know you kind of look at that game three as a pivotal game anyway and you know you're one to one or you're down down two and um and, and he delivered he came through exactly how we expected him to and and you know, we really believe Stephen Matz will go out tomorrow night and do do the same kind of job. And the first words I said to Travis when I walked in the, the clubhouse today, I was like, well, how do you feel about high and tight for the first pitch? And then uh, and then curveball for the second one. So I feel like it really made a statement to start the game off, knowing that hey, you guys can't dig in and, and get too aggressive because you don't come in there. But certainly wasn't trying to hit the guy, that's for sure. I just didn't want him getting too comfortable. I mean... I mean, if they have a problem with, with me throwing inside, and they can meet me 60 feet, 6 inches away. I got no problem with that. He said, you got a plan for me. That's the plan to throw me the first pitch on my head. That's not a good plan. That's not a good pitcher right there, because after that, they throw all pitchers outside. If they hit in my head 99 miles per hour, that's not good. It definitely fired everybody up, you know. He's uh, saying he came up with a master plan, and I guess it was a throw at Esky's head, so... It's all right. We got the, uh, you know, we got a, a close group, a close team, and we'll uh, we'll bounce back from that. I, I didn't like it. I wasn't. Uh, I didn't. Ag- uh, I didn't agree with what he did. I think it was wrong. Uh, and uh, uh, it was just weak. I would say. We've all got a lot of confidence in our group. We've got Chris Young going tomorrow, and we feel good about that. I mean, he's. Uh, again, the ultimate competitor, nothing's going to mess with him. The weather, nothing's going to mess with him. Our players are not only great great athletes, uh, but they are great human beings. And uh, the Roberto Clemente Award program uh, it really brings that point home each and every year for me. In a moment that seemed almost too perfect, Andrew McCutcheon won the award named for the most famous Pittsburgh Pirate of all time, Roberto Clemente. McCutcheon received the 2015 Roberto Clemente Award for his positive contributions on and off the field, including sportsmanship and community involvement. McCutcheon becomes only the second Pirate to win the award, joining Clemente's teammate, Willie Stargell, who won it in 1974. I feel like it kind of means a little more to me just because I wear a Pirate uniform. So, you know, Clemente, he, he wore a Pirate uniform as well. So. Um, I'm, I'm a bit partial just because of that, but, um, you know, it, it really is a, just a great award to have. For more on these stories and for complete coverage of the 2015 World Series, keep it locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.